Shut up and sit down. Uh, folks, coming here, Festa 67's workshop. <gasps> it's here. It's only here, folks. <sighs> Kapow, Kazam, and all of that. Build the Batmobile from the classic 1966 TV series from the wonderful folks down at Fanon. Now, if you want to grab one of these for yourself, folks, hit up this link all the way along here. Head over to the Fanon website <clears throat> and get yourself a subscription for this classic, classic replica of the movie car. One ape scale. This is the poster that you get with it. Gives you a bit of blurbage about the Batmobile there. All the editorial work in the magazines is all in there as well. And this all opens out into an absolutely massive uh, poster. And this is <laughs> this is full size picture of the car there, folks. Now it is seventy one point four centimeters. 28.1 inches that's a big old car isn't it and you've got all your gubbins going on here the trunk opens you've got fire extinguishers back phone turn levers go faster steering wheel all the details on the dashboard <gasps> the bat scoop we've got the bat scoop you've got metal and abs parts working lights which are aggro and which are activated, he says. I'm so excited with a remote control. Remote. Oh, blokey buttons. Rocket launchers. All of that lot going on in the back. And this opens out into a mahoosive poster. And then also further along, you get a set of posters. You get a bat, Batman cap, Batman mug, and a license plate. So you've got that to look forward to. And as per the normal with a fan owned subscription, not only do you get a big box of goodies, which we're going to be assembling in a moment, but you also get each issue of the magazine, folks. Now, give these a read. I always say this with all the part works I do give the magazines a read, folks. You won't be disappointed. So in this one, this is issue one. Oh, issue one. Oh, I am I'm so excited. Uh, yeah, because this is a classic TV show that I remember from when I grew up. And it was uh, made a year before I was born, folks. Yeah, and it was colour telly, so I'm not that old. So you've got your usual there. You've got the TV show facts and figures here. You've got a list of all the cast who played who. Obviously, the R a Riddler who was uh, portrayed by Frank Gorsin, uh, Batman, obviously, Adam West, Robin Burtwald. Alfred was Alan Napier. Uh, I'm not right, I think it was Burgess Meredith that played the Penguin. I'm sure it was, but yeah. So, yeah, you've got all some details there about the Riddler. This was season one, episode one. Uh, a bit more there on the TV show. No one ever thought it suspicious of men running round wearing pants on the outside of their trousers. But this is what I remember from the TV show. Everything had a label. So this would be the bat oiler, the bat knife, the bat this. I was going to make up a load of labels and that, but uh, I got that excited. I haven't made them yet because I want to make this. But yeah, anyway, some more information on the TV show there. You got the Dark Knight Returns there, you got all the comics and other things like that. The dystopian Gotham turns into the darkest night of all for its saviour. I know. And this was uh, dated 1986. And then you got like I say all the different all the different comic book iterations of Batman there. The great Batman comics, all the different stories and the way it was all done, artists. All the different artwork goes back to 1939. Wow. Nearly 100 years, folks. Wow. And then, like I say, all the different uh, ways that he's been portrayed in comics. They went sort of from comic book hero to a slightly sinister looking Batman. And then they've brought him back now into the people's champion type thing. So, yeah, it's 
I've always found it an intriguing story, to be honest with you. And then obviously we've had all the movies over the years as well. And then Batman year by year, you got all your different comic uh, iterations going on there, but it just gives you a bit of history. You then got this week's, or this month's car parts, should I say, which is the bonnet, the uh, bonnet in the uh, frame, bat phone, bat phone mount, all the screws and your screwdriver, folks. And there's all your part numbers are listed there as to what you've got in that box. And you get a little asterisk which denotes a spare screw and a plus shows the number supply. There you go. This is your parts locator. Let's you know whereabouts on your Batmobile that we're going to be working on. So we're going to be working on the hood, obviously for those in the USA, and the bat phone. All your bits and bobs going on there. How it, um, how it all goes together, and it's a little reminder to protect your paintwork to ensure you don't scratch any of the pre-finished surfaces work on a soft cloth, which I've got just to my right there. So I'll dig that out now whilst I think of it because I'll never forgive myself. I've got a big pile of cloth next to me. And if I don't if I don't use one, I'll regret it. So that is now going in the box with all the bat bits. I'm already doing it in all the bat bits. Uh, this is how you assemble the bat phone, push fit. This is don't it's not held in by screws, just push fit. And that will let you know then what you've got at the end of this issue, folks. Now, I don't know about you, but I want to get started. So I'm just going to put this, <laughs> I'm just going to leg this up against the back there. And we'll start putting some of this together, folks. So I'm going to open it up. When we come back, we'll start a bit of assembly. Eh? Oh, we've got that lot to do. Happy days. Right, folks, look at this. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Look at the finish on that. It's absolutely stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. And that's die cast. So it is uber heavy, folks. So I'm just going to rest that there. This, this is your framework made of ABS. And then obviously we've got AM screws going on. We've got a big pile of them, so we'll have some spares. And look at this, folks. The world's cutest bat phone. <laughs> hey, isn't it? Don't you love it? And then you get your obligatory screwdriver as well. Now, I'm keeping this plastic section purely and simply so that when I've done today's assembly, I can put the bonnet back in here to protect it from getting any scratches and dings. So it does pay to keep some of the packaging, folks. So keep that in mind. So we're going to lay the bonnet down and engage this frame. Now it fits quite precisely over these raised, uh, raised areas there. And you've got a little cutout in the frame there that just sits above all of those little bumps that poke up there. And this is what we want to locate in the place, folks. So we'll grab a screw, magnetic screwdriver, happy days. And then we're going, because we're going in die cast, we'll put a little bit of oil on the thread of the screw. Just a single drop, like that. And then we can start putting in these screws. Just like that. And then we're going to screw these right in. Just like so. I'm going to do my usual, my diagonals. Just so that we can start pulling the frame in. So we'll have a little, little dip in there. And we'll go into this corner there. Like that. Just so that we can pull this together. Let's just line that back up on the screwdriver there. Because you, you're twitched. There you go. Simple process. A little bit of oil goes a long way on these. And then if you need to, just lift it up so you can see what you're doing. And engage that screw like that. Okay. And then just work your way around the model. So we'll grab some more of these. And get these all in place. 
quite a simple, quite a little, quite a simple little issue this one. But it's a start, that's the thing. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting, most, well, I say most patiently, uh, whilst this was uh, getting ready to be sent. So I've known for a while this one was coming. And don't forget, like I say, there's links at the beginning of this and in the description below this video of where you can go to get your very own Batmobile. Go and have a look, folks. Any superhero buff is going to love this. Who wouldn't? It's Batman. Come on. We all wanted to be Batman when we were children. I'm being that this is in one-eighth scale. What more can I say? It's going to be massive. And when this is finished, I will I will be sat here in my Batman suit, giving it the no 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 a bit. And yeah, yeah. Because why not? I can just imagine my Mrs. Catwoman will be uh, saying to me, yeah, you need to get out a lot more love. But hey, you know, I'm happy. And this is where this soft uh, cloth comes in handy because where I'm just resting the bonnet down because I know it's on a nice soft surface. It's not going to get scratched, folks. And it is literally working your way around. Getting all these screws into place. And there's a lot of screws, you may think. But this is a rather large bonnet. And I can imagine, like I say, going on going on the scale of this you know you want to make sure it's structurally going to hold together so they they tend to over engineer but it's worth it because at least you know it's not going to shake apart because you don't want your batmobile coming to bits do you and that's the one thing i can say about these part works is they are so rigidly and strongly constructed and put together that you really are getting a lot of bang for your buck. I don't think you'd be disappointed, put it that way. So we can now start working on this front section now because I think this is where all the hinges will go so that the bonnet opens that way. So you do need a lot of strength here. Pay attention to your instructions because you want to make sure you're putting all the screws in the correct holes because you've got a lot of holes down the front. But as you can see by the instructions, there's only two screws that go in at that front panel. These ones stay unused because that's where the hinges all attach. So bear that in mind. Don't be tempted to fill every hole up with a screw, folks. So we are going in there. Like that. Here's where we're going. Did I put oil on that? I don't think I did. There you go. Let's pick that back up. Got all excited then. Forgot to put my oil on. There you go. Now it should go in nicely. Look at that. Straight in. Much better, eh? Like that. I mean, I'll lift that up and just just send that fully home now. Like that. And then turn it round. Do the same with the other one. And that should leave me a, a spare screw at the end there. As we got two more to go in just in there. Like so. So let's just grab that one. Like that, and pop that in there, and then I can check that I've got all of the relevant screws in that I need need to have in in this issue, folks. There's mounts there for the hinge pins. There you go. So I'll just quickly check my instructions. Yeah, diagonals, one there in the corner, each side and two in the front and we want these left and these 
left. So we're going to end up with three spare screws there, folks. Okay, so I'm going to put them back in the bag. And all the screws will be kept so that as this build goes along, you'll end up with a little collection of the screws. But keep them in the bags so that as you grow your spares, you'll end up with a little bag, all, all different bags labelled up with your screw identifications. So we've got the bonnet done, like so. Fingerprints everywhere there, Colin. But this will all get polished at the end of the build process. So I expect to get a lot of fingerprints on her. It's just an unfortunate side of the build process, but we do get to polish it at the end. And then next up, grab your back phone. And then underneath here, you've got a little oval cutout that this fits up into, just to close off the bottom of the back phone there. So you just literally want to line these pegs up like so and then push that home. Just like so. And it'll click into place and you'll hear it. And there's your back phone, see? And if I remember rightly, I think this has got a pin on it so it spins around. Yeah, it does. So you can relocate it. And that gives us, at the end of this episode, Gives us a nice bonnet, a bat bonnet, not an ordinary bonnet, and the world's cutest bat phone. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to let you absorb this. I'm going to go off and really drive my wife nuts with everything being a bat tool this week. It's going to be, that's a bat cooker, that's a bat spoon, that's a, yeah, you get where I'm going. I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. And until then, head over and click this link all the way along there. And go and treat yourself to your very, very own Batmobile. I don't think you're going to be disappointed. I'm certainly not. And you do get to run around the cave, giving it all the proper Batman sounds, because we all have a cave that we work in. Hey, why not call it the Bat Cave? Oh, see what I did there? I'll get me coat. Bye-bye for now. Bye.